Yeah. Guys, I just I want you to have a look at the formation. This is our launch pad. This is something that you've got to try and achieve in the mini game and then advance it into the mod game, okay? What are some really key components that you're going to be educating your coaches to concentrate on in that formation? Just little things. Think little, think basic. What are they? The feet of the dummy half. Yep, yeah, feet of the dummy half. We were talking a little bit earlier that our dummy halves have ample time to get there, get to the ball, because no defence can move until the first receiver receives the ball. Our problem with our dummy halves at the moment are a lot of them will stand like that. Okay? Now remember, everything we teach from a mini mod aspect has to get us into the international game five, ten years down the track and have us prepared for the international game. Okay? So straight away, we've got to be conscious as coaches to try and get our kids to play a little bit more square around the ruck. Because as they advance through the game, they're going to have to be looking for opportunities and opportunities to run from dummy half. So even at the mini age, even at the mod age, we've got to be really critical of kids who stand like that because we're just not giving ourselves opportunity as the game progresses, okay? So let's get them to play a little bit square. I'm all for putting the foot out, pointing to the direction of the pass, you know, rolling from heel to toe as you pass from the ground, little things like that. That's great. What's the next thing, guys? Hands up. Hands up. W's, butterflies, whatever you guys might come up with in terminology is something that we've got to have. So when we go to training and our mini coaches, you know, you've given him a couple of little fun game activities. Remember the core skills of what we're trying to achieve here is what he's got to achieve in that whole nine months of rugby league, okay? So hands up, W's, butterflies. Our pass is obviously a really key component. Number one, pass, catch, carry, all those types of things, okay? What's something very, very simple with this guy here that we have to make sure he does? Take a couple steps forward. Yeah, what before that? Think simple. We've got hands up. What else does he do? What's going to make him play square? Feet. Right, eh? So we've got to look at his feet. Outside foot has to be up. Has to be up. And I know you might sit here as coaches with a lot, a lot of experience, but our mini coaches and our mod coaches have to make sure this is starting to happen because we have got to get this guy to start running square, take two or three steps so he advance into the game. The biggest downfall in rugby league at the moment is we're not creating good halfbacks because all our coaches are allowing them to catch pass with no momentum okay we've got to get guys to start to run with the ball before they pass from first receiver so that he plays square outside foot up beautiful simple thing outside foot up so that you play square anything else that you want to be worried about just at the moment mini mod just think of mini no bit of shape that's about it okay the progression from there obviously is our minis nine times out of ten will be still catching and passing if we can get our minis to at times, play the ball, hands up, catch the pass, take one, two steps and pass the ball. We're doing something that's extremely, extremely good. I don't class it as something that is going to always happen, but if they're getting the idea that they're allowed to take one or two steps before they actually pass the ball, when we progress into mod, it's going to become easier. By the time we hit international, we're playing some square, straight football. Okay. Um, the progression from there into mod football. What are we going to change? What do we want to achieve at mod league? Guys, talk to me. You get some runners coming off. Like, you've got some lines coming off that line. Yeah, yeah, you've got your options. You've got your rocket ship out there at the moment. What about having two, two, two launch pads, seats. one each yeah. side? Yeah, that's the extension. We've got to give ourselves some option. You know, like we talk about possibly the seven there, the six there. The real big thing for me in mod football is that this guy here doesn't have to put a number seven on his back to stand there. That's what we've got to get away from. You know, I love going to football on a Saturday and seeing a front rower jump in that position, catch the ball, take three steps and pass it to his mate. Because what he, his coach is obviously educating him to get in, catch the ball, doesn't matter who's first receiver, as long as we take a couple of steps, tip on, and the progression for that later in life is just going to be outstanding for that type of player.